Hi everyone, welcome to the Challenge Foundation page once again. The Challenge Foundation page dispels myths, untruths, and misconceptions about disabilities. We coach and mentor persons with disabilities. Apart from this, we share our encounters, our challenges as disabled persons with you. As a matter of fact, we share with you, we tell you some of the things that we go through in our day-to-day -day activities. Today, I want us to talk about kids being taught how to embrace diversity and inclusion. Yes. And this discussion has been triggered by a story. In fact, as a matter of fact, from a parent that is very close to me, she shared this story with me and I was, I was a bit worried that if kids start doing this, they're going to grow with it. And, you know, there is this child, she's about six years old and she is cp cp means cerebral palsy and so one morning she woke up and told the grandmother that grandma you know what i regret being in this life so the grandmother asked her why do you regret being in this life she said i regret being in this life because god created me this way then the grandmother asked her how did God create you? She said, but I am not able to walk. And anytime I go to school, you see the other children pointing fingers at me. A lot of them have been discussing me. Some of them say they gossip about me and they say that, look at her, she's not able to walk. I was saddened by this. You know, somebody will say that they are kids and they don't know anything. But how do kids learn? Kids learn by observing adults. Kids learn to speak from what they hear adults saying. They learn their words from adults, what we say to their hearing. Through those words, they learn them, you know, how to speak. And so kids are observers. Kids observe. So as adults, what we do in front of kids, our children, is very, very important. And so um, this is what has actually triggered this discussion on the page. The question is, is it good to teach children about disability, to, to start talking about, to, about disabilities to children? Is it right? I think it is right. I think it is good to teach children about diversity and inclusion. Um, what I am going to discuss here is based on my personal experience and from an article that I have been reading from uh, Baylor University and then a very well family. That is where I gather all this um, information. And so if you agree with me, give us thumbs up. If you disagree with me, you can write what you know in the comment section. Um, if you know more, you can also educate us or school us. This page is an educational page. You know, we talk about disabilities. And so um, let's quickly delve into um, our discussion for today. You know, when you teach kids, why must we teach kids about diversity and inclusion? What are some of the importance or how will teaching kids about diversity and inclusion, how will it help? You see, I think that when you teach kids about um, diversity and inclusion or disabilities, it helps vulnerable kids or students, you know, from bullying or being mocked, like the small child, for instance. You see how the, her peers have been pointing fingers at her. 
They've been discussing about her. They've been saying all kinds of things about her. Probably because it looks strange to them. They don't actually understand what is happening to her. And so when you teach these kids, when you talk about disability to them, when you let them know about disabilities, it gives them that understanding. And then it will prevent them from bullying or mocking other kids who have disabilities. Another benefit or importance of teaching kids about disability is that it promotes inclusiveness among kids. You know, for instance, when kids, like when I was in, I, I, I can't actually remember, but I think um, it was in the primary school, you know, anytime I was to write something, I am a person with disability, if it's your first time on this page. And so in a primary school, when anytime it was, it was a uh, time for me to solve uh, something on the, on the blackboard, you know, most of the kids, they used to help me by lifting, lifting me up, you know, to write on the board, you see. So when you, you, you talk about disabilities, when you teach kids about disabilities and they empathize, you know, with a condition, it will prove inclusiveness in the sense that anytime, even if they are playing and they realize that the other kid with disability is left out, it is possible that they help him, you know, to play along. Anything they are doing and they realize that their peer is left out, I think they will help him to go along with them, whether being it learning or playing. And so it is very, very important to teach our kids about disabilities another importance of teaching our kids about disabilities is that it helps build empathy and then emotional intelligence it will give them that understanding of the subject disabilities of the condition they will really understand and so when they see somebody they they know what it is they know it is not their fault they know something is not right somewhere, you know, in some part of their body. And so they get that empathy, you know. Um, the fourth one is that they understand differences in a positive, um, a positive matter. You know, it will make these children to understand that each and everybody is unique. They will understand people's or individuals' uniqueness. They know that these people are just a little different from them. It's not as if that they are bad or there is something actually wrong with them. And then the last one, the last important reason why I think that it is important for us to um, teach our children about disabilities or diversity and inclusion is that it diminish negative effect of implicit bias. They will not consciously, you know, prejudice people. Children will not consciously stereotype people. You know, they already understand the condition. They understand what is wrong. You know, they understand that something is not right somewhere. And it is a condition. It is a medical condition. And so they will not stereotype people. They will not prejudice people. You know, I think it is very, very important for us to be talking to our kids about diversity and inclusion or disabilities, both at home and in the schools. You know, um, there is one thing I like about Germans. There is one thing I like about Germans. Um, when you, 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 you go to Germany and you want to go to any German school to learn, hmm? it is a language course, but the course is designed in such a way that there are a lot of things that are inculcated or um, into the, 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 the course. For example, they teach you how to look for an apartment. If you are searching for an apartment, you are taught how to interact with your prospective um, 
landlord or the landlady how you should go about to look to search for the room they talk about uh, quadrameters i don't know how it is called in english you know apart from that you are also taught how to wash in germany how to wash clothes i mean um, in the sense that there are days that when you wash premium is high and so it costs you much money there are times that you wash premium is low and so it costs you less money you are taught all these things and you are also taught some of the things that cost you in your home some of the gadgets that cost you in the home some of the habits that cost you a lot of money and so this course is is, is just a language course but it, it is designed in such a way that by the time you finish learning the language by the time you are able to speak the language you also learn how to fit into the system how to go about activities in the system and that is what they call integration integration at the same way i think um there are kids these children are also taught about diversity yeah, so when you are talking or teaching kids about um, disabilities, don't try to convince them that the person with disability is just like them. Let them understand the fact that disabled people are a little different from them. And then that is why they are using uh, those mobility aids like... Um, um uh, crutches or wheelchair which has been prescribed by the doctor you know let these kids understand that disabled persons are as a matter of fact not sick it is just that something is not right in a part of their body probably the muscles or somewhere explain to them why these children are using hearing aids Explain to them why these children are not able to walk. You need to let them understand the condition and let them know that it doesn't make them bad people. They are just a little different. You know, then you go ahead to say that some people are actually born with these, some of these disabilities. Others develop it later in life. Let them understand this and then when you are doing that try not to be emotional so that this child may not sympathize with these disabled kids take your emotions out just let him understand they are not sick you know whatever um mobility aids or assistive device they are using are prescribed by doctors because there is something not right in a part of the body so you don't do that emotionally you know and then um the next yeah so i i, I said that let them know persons with disabilities are actually not sick you know and then disabilities are not contagious let the kids understand because some children are afraid that by getting close to those people they may be uh, they may also uh, be infected with a condition I don't know they think it is contagious let them know it is not infectious it is not contagious let me tell you something that happened to me. there was an event that I went and the, the man is actually from Tanzania and um but the woman is a white a white woman let me put it that way so they came to me because the the man is a, a an african they came to shake hands with me the man actually willingly shook hands with me when it was the turn of the woman um she was reluctant because previously they had spoken to me and i said i had polio i had polio when i was young so this woman was reluctant and then she said to the husband that ah, ah, this polio she said she was uh you know uh she had polio when she was young and i don't know whether by shaking her i will 
you know <laughs> but then quickly the man came in and explained to the woman that this thing happened to veronica when she was very very young and the virus is no more there it is not contagious and you are not going to uh, be infected when you shake hands with her before this woman a grown-up a grown-up white woman but you see she had little knowledge about the condition and so that is why she behaved that way the, the man felt bad she thought i took offense but as a matter of fact i was not offended at all so let the children know that disabilities are not contagious you know let them know there is nothing wrong with people who are different it is just a little different then try to explain adaptive equipment this is the word like hearing aids crutches or wheelchairs that these disabled people used to get around explain them to them they are prescribed by the doctor and it aids mobility of disabled people or their hearing aid or whatever let these kids understand for them to become familiar with those um, adaptive equipment you know if possible explain to kids where there are parking spaces reserved for persons with disabilities very close to shops hospitals and public places you need to explain to them to understand the reason you know and then educate them on how to assist these people you know educate kids on how to assist people like i said you know in germany you see these children everybody and some of us africans you know sometimes when i am in the bus when i had that accident you know and i was using my wheelchair anytime i was going to get on the bus i see africans who are very nice to me they will come out and help me they don't even allow the white people to help me it is africans i say see we learn some of these things because we see the whites doing same the, the kids and some of these white people you know um it is not all of them but i mean it's it's okay a majority of them you see them they are readily available to help disabled persons you know and so when we come here we do some of those things i know there are people somebody told me that there are people in africa especially troll troll mates troll troll mates they are very very helpful one visually impaired guy was sharing with me how they used to help him i know there are people but um let's you know inculcate this habit into our kids so that they will grow with it you know how to readily assist persons um with disabilities you know and then as i said early um try to point out similarities between disabled people and these non-disabled kids point out the similarities tell them you see veronica is also good at mass just as you you know what this you know um disabled kids are able to do you know just like this non-disabled kids point out the similarities to them you see um physically veronica is different but she's also good at mathematics she's also good at singing just like you and then emphasize on their abilities the things that they are able to do emphasize on those abilities to these kids you know when you want to teach kids about disabilities you want to talk about kids you know uh, you want to talk to kids about disabilities prepare for tough questions prepare for tougher questions because kids as i told you are very intelligent they can ask very tough questions and so don't lie don't lie be ready to say i don't know if you don't find an answer to a question tell the child i will have to think about it and get back to you if you need to gather some more thoughts you know and then you should uh, ask questions like um kids can ask you 
uh, why were why were they born like that? You see, you could give a science based answer, or you can tell them it is a medical condition or whatever. You know, and then you know you can tell them you can throw back questions to them if they talk to you about differences. You ask them, is what different thing have you seen about this person? You know, what have you noticed? What is same? What is same? What are the similarity? You can throw such questions to all these kids. And so, uh, we as parents, we as teachers, we as caretakers um, of kids, let's try and inculcate some of these habits, talking about disabilities, talking about diversity and inclusion with kids to prepare their mind to prepare their mind because teaching children about diversity and inclusion you know it will make these kids to understand and embrace diversity you know this will help them to understand and recognize each individual's uniqueness and so this is where i will end my discussion if you come across this video please share it Send it to a parent, send it to a friend who needs to know about this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.